Tully, how you doing? I'm all right, man. Good. Absolutely insane. Absolutely fucking insane. You've had a rough 24 hours, eh? Not just insane. Do you know this is what it's about, yeah? Which is not nothing about yesterday. I think, should we, should we just pop out into the entrance? Because it might get funny with us uh, filming in here. Um, First of all, though, how are you feeling? Right. Yeah, I'm alright, it's my birthday, isn't it? And I mean, I, I was oh, happy birthday! Kids, I was meant to take the kids out yesterday, but I've, just met, I've literally just messaged them saying I'm on my way. I'm going out. They all took the kid day off school, so. Yeah. I, How's your eyes? Because they pepper sprayed you at point blank range. What's that about? I heard you found a video, no? Yeah, we got the video, What's yeah. What's that about? So they, they that it seemed about? like they ripped your head up yeah. and, and did it at point blank range. Yeah, I know, yeah. he held it from here. Oh, but it was burning so much, man. For, but for, for what? There was already 30 of you. Yeah. Well, there's literally 30 of you. What have I done? And I said, I'm just here to do my job, yeah? You you can see, they. what did they say? They said that I was going to cause alarm and distress. You can see the reception I received. Absolutely. Everyone was pleasant, everyone was happy. The fact that uh, they said the organiser of the demonstration, again, it's the unnamed organiser that they used in The Guardian to spread more lies, yeah? yeah? It's the establishment. It's because members of the establishment were there who don't want me there. And then, if I, say I organise a demonstration, like, what am I allowed to say? Well, I don't want the BBC to turn up. I don't want the Guardian there. Yeah. No, because we have a free press. But then look, this is, so everything you've seen over the last three, four weeks, you've seen people climbing on monuments, they're not banned from London. You've seen Mohammed Hijab and that, you've seen, seen all these extremists, you've seen his butt to here demanding jihad and calling for Muslim armies. None of them are banned, yeah? I am not allowed into London, okay? I'm now banned from London till the end of January where I go to court, where I've been prosecuted. Have you been charged? I've been charged and prosecuted. You've been charged with uh, section... They were remanding me. Do you know those two custody officers, the sergeants, yeah. said, he just said, I'm probably in trouble here, Tommy, yeah? Because yeah. I've refused their, 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 their agreement to remind you, yeah? Yeah. And he goes, and I've refused it based on what it is. And that's the custody sergeant who said, I'm probably going to be in trouble. The two of them just stood up and said, we're probably going to be in trouble, yeah? Yeah, from they the were, highs up. Yeah, from the highs up, because they were reminding you. They're yeah. reminding you. But they, they've gone against them. To be yeah. honest, every, every police officer in here was absolutely wonderful yeah. from the minute I got in here. But they have they have gone against them, because am I even getting charged? How can they justify ripping you off the street with such brutal enthusiasm, pepper spraying you in the face, carting you off for 24 hours, putting you straight and in prison? And then charging me? Yeah, charging uh, you, putting you straight in prison. Charge, that's what they're attempting to do. That's what they wanted to do. I'll be in jail now. Yeah. If those two men didn't go against it and, and actually rule on their job, rule on principle, yeah. I'd be in prison. Yeah. And not just that, but th when you see them, my bail conditions, my bail conditions are not to organise or partake or participate in any demonstrations. Oh, typical. Yeah. I talk about being back on the street. That's what this is about. We've seen this for 15 years. Yeah. This is about using. Sorry, sir. This is about using. They use. They use the law and they use the system to prohibit and limit your freedoms. They yeah. took my freedoms yesterday. They didn't just take them. They literally violently took them. You've been in. You've basically been in custody for 24 hours. Yeah. So I can tell you now. You have been, what's happened to you, yeah. has been wall-to-wall -wall publicity. I mean, everywhere. You've had talk TV, you've had GB News singing your praises, saying it's unfair, it's outrageous what's happened to you. I thought, I thought they'd twist it. I thought all they'd cut, I haven't seen anything. So I thought it would be portrayed to everyone that I turned up somewhere I wasn't welcome and I was a danger or something. You was trending from the yeah. first moment. You're still trending. Yeah. Everyone across the whole spectrum, even across the like Trump movement in America, has come out in support of you. Okay. You've literally united a nation. And and the and best thing, I think I put out a tweet three weeks ago saying, Mark Rowley, shall I prove Mark Rowley yeah. to tier system? Yeah. I think we just did. <laughs> yeah. But for the world to see. So um, so what did you do on your 41st birthday? I exposed the Metropolitan Police's two tier policing system. The thing is, if, if you as a Hamas supporter, oh, if you as a Hamas supporter and you called for jihad and you climbed nothing, over the cenotaph, do you think you would have been arrested? The, the, the thing is, you know, like when we're watching it all, I know how they bend laws against us all the time. And I've had it for 15 years. So I know how they use prevent a breach of the peace. They nick you for anything to prevent a breach of the peace. They're letting them des desecrate our, our memorials. And then they're not just letting them, they're giving them a pat on the back. And then they get putting out statements as to why they're allowed to do it. And they're putting out statements defending calls for jihad. Yeah. And yet when a journalist turn up, nicely welcomed, to do a video report, I'm now going to court, right? When I go to court, mark my words, there will be no jury. I'll be tried again by a judge on the 22nd yeah. of January. And, not, and, 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 and the 22nd of January will get put off for another six months so they can continue the with bail these conditions, bail conditions, yeah. prohibiting, prohibiting my political activism and my freedom as a journalist. Yeah, they're kicking so, to long grass. They're kicking to long grass for six months. They will, they will want me tied up for six months. 
what I probably will do, hopefully, is take this straight to court yeah. and challenge these bail conditions that limit my freedom as a journalist. Because I'm a journalist, they may not like it. The BBC may not like it. I'm a better journalist than every single one of them, and I'm more watched than any of them. Yeah, and my journalism is entrusted, which is why Elon Musk. If you hadn't given me back my platform, then the world wouldn't be able to have seen that I that I was innocent. The world wouldn't be able to see the importance of citizen journalism. When you have the state decide who is a journalist, we're in communism. Yeah. When they start only allowing certain people to make reports, no, that's not what Great Britain is. We have freedom of the press, we have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and they've just took all three of them things off of me. So is there anything you want to say quickly to all the, the, the literally, the, the universal support across yeah. the Western world for what happened to you? No, just thank you. Thank you to anyone who has supported. I know, you know when I sit in places like that, because I didn't think I was getting out, I thought I'm gone for Christmas again. But I know that the support is there, so I know that I sit there sort of comfortable in the sense that my family are going to be alright, and my, my family will be looked after, so in that sense, you, that gives me a position to continue doing this and continue battling it because if I didn't have that support I'd have been beaten so many times but I sort of every time I get knocked down something comes across and says go on get back up Elon Musk done that go on up you get <laughs> off you go well Tommy your support does that so it's, it's your birthday Tommy let's get you home to your children yeah yeah thanks and, I'll, I'll, and to whoever this is because some lady was through this at me yeah I've got your burger scarf I don't know who it is but you were one of the people around me when I was getting arrested I've, I've got it good stuff